Oh, hello there. I was just out visiting my daughter and I thought, as you do, you know, you start thinking about dipoles when you're driving around. You have that problem? Yeah, I do. And I thought, dipole, two poles, right? And that's not two people in uh, uh, Eastern Europe somewhere or <laughs> a couple of poles sticking up in the ground. No, from an um, amateur radio point of view, we're talking about two electrical um, elements, aren't we? I think I've got a couple here, though, which I'm going to try and see what happens. Got a lump of wire in my hand here. Yeah, come on, let's, let's have a look at this. What say we uh, get this piece of wire and we'll wrap it on this top piece of wire here. And uh, I'm just wrapping it on. I don't know how far this uh, fence goes down. It's a... Or not. Let's take this other side of the and wrap it onto the, uh, this uh, fence here. Yeah, this this might do. No, I'm not sure. Not sure if this is going to work or not. I mean, it's just just a bit of fun. And uh, that comes down to my. Uh, dual connector which is going to go into my right that's right the dipole we need to have a center insulator don't we ah I know open the open the gate right that gives us a center insulator between uh, between our two elements now Let's see, we've got our two ascendants. Time to connect it up to a radio and see how it works. I'm not at all sure this is going to work or not. So uh, let's give it a go, shall we? Right, so we've got these two wires connected. That's the driven element. This is the, uh, the grounded side. Uh, Gates open, so we have a center insulator there. Let me grab my little uh, trusty transceiver. Hmm, early Alleycraft KX3. Connect that on here. Fire it up, and let's see what happens, shall we? Wow, something anyway. Uh, Auto tune that. Wonder if it does. Auto tuned. <laughs> Let's have a look around. Probably not an awful lot on the bands at this time of the day. Yeah, like I thought, zip. I'll go down to the FT8 frequency and see if I can hear anything there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we can hear it all right. Everybody moaning away on FC8. Oh, goodness, it'd be great to have a contact, wouldn't it? Nip down to the CW end and see what happens. Not a dicky bird, eh? Well, let's try... Um, uh, 40 meters, shall we? Will it tune? Yes. <laughs> I don't expect much out in the middle of the day either on 40. Nothing down the CW end of the band. Just go and check that FT8 frequency. No, nothing there either. I shouldn't expect much in the middle of the day on 40 here, so. Interesting though, it changed, it tuned, didn't it? Just for the hang of it, let's go up to something like about 15 meters. Will it tune? I'm sure it will. 
Oh, it's grunting. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's the FT8 frequency. I'm 15. Can't, can't hear anything around on the CW end of the band. I don't expect anything really. Few odd bits of odd bits and pieces of carry around the place, but no, nothing really. That clicking you can hear in the background, incidentally, is an electric fence which is operating right beside me here. <laughs> I uh, yes, I did have a look at that as a uh, possibility too, but decided uh, that uh, discretion is a better part of valour on that lot, and uh, check to see if the fence was actually going. <laughs> And it was, so uh, there we be. Hey, listen, that's a lot of fun, and uh, we haven't had any uh, uh, any contacts on this. But the, the interesting thing is, here I am. I just pulled off the side of the driveway here, and uh, thought, nah, I wonder if we can load up the top ra rail of this fence here. It loads, and uh, and as we've uh, and as we've had a look at it, uh, at least we can receive on um, bits and pieces around. Now there's 20 metres back at the uh, that FT8 frequency again. It's wailing through, so there's plenty of activity. Only wish we had some CW or uh, sideband and we'd make a contact. No, it's not to be. Switch that off. Anyway, there we be. I thought we'd have a bit of fun while we're out and about uh, today, uh, visiting my uh, um, grandchildren and so on like that. So there it is. Um, take your rig with you. Uh, have a bit of bit of random wire and see what you can load up when you're travelling around. Just for just for the fun of it. Okay. for now.